Hello everybody, this is Lady Kayla here and welcome to the Geekdom. Today I'm going to do a video dedicated entirely to Game of Thrones because so many people have been asking me about it, so many people are talking about it. I'm one of the people that's talking about it constantly because I can't wait. Um, to be honest, you know, the show isn't one of my favorites, but it brings to life my favorite book series and that is more than enough. And um, True, the show has its, like, ups and downs, and I know so many people get pissed off at me when I say, like, oh, it's not the best, it's not my favorite, um, but it's just the ups and downs for me. Personally, I still review it, I still enjoy it to an extent, and, um, that's just the way life is. You may like it, I may not. Calm down. So, um, anyways, uh, I'm definitely reviewing Game of Thrones this time around. I... Um, want to talk about my reviews and what kind of reviews I do because some people get confused or upset or whatever because they don't understand what I'm doing. Um, I read the books first, like before the show was even talked about, I had read the books. Um, and so I made a book review channel and so when I heard that the show was coming out, I was like, oh, I'll review the show and because I read the books and this is like a book review channel or it was when <laughs> earlier before now it has all sorts of stuff on it but um I was like oh I'll review the show in context of the books and um now I'm kind of just like experimenting I'm not quite sure how exactly I'm going to review the book or the show this time around um I will always mention the books I will always go back to the books because that's what I do um and if that's a problem for you, I am sorry, but that's how I do things. Um, it's not too spoilerish because the show is actually really good at following the books, at least when it comes to main like plot lines and storylines. Um, and uh, I feel like it follows pretty close. I mean, it's not far away out there. Like, um, what was it? It was based on the Sword of Truth book series. And I can't remember the show's name. Legend of the Seeker, I think, is what it was called. That one was just, like, way off. I was like, I read the books, I'm watching the show, and I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Um, Game of Thrones isn't like that. Like I said, like, it really brings to life the books. Not quite in the way I would like all the time. Um, sometimes they actually... Don't get me wrong, I'm not a purist. I'm not a purist. I'm not like, oh, they have to do it this way or it's bad. No. <laughs> no. Um, sometimes they do things that I actually like better. So um, they're not exactly like the books. Um, and sometimes it's a bad thing, sometimes it's a good thing for me personally. Um, and I just want to make that clear. I'm not a purist. I'm not like, oh, it has to be exactly like the books. Um, and that's another thing I want to clarify because I'll just be like, oh, the show actually did this and took this route and I actually like it. I like the way that's going on. But as soon as I say, ah, I like the book version better of this scene, as soon as I say that, no matter how many times I've said that I like the show's version of such and such, they'll be like, well, you know, it's not supposed to be like the books, right? No freaking way. I had no clue. We just know this, this is happening right now. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's irritating. I know the show's not going to be like the books, and sometimes I like it, and sometimes I don't. And I make that perfectly clear. So that's how I review. That's what's going down. I'm not quite sure which route I'm going to take. Usually, like, I like to do, like, an overview of all the characters, um, which I'm probably still going to follow that format. But instead of talking about, like, every single detail, I'm probably just going to talk about details that stood out to me and details that I really enjoyed. Um, the reason I review is just ultimately to discuss Game of Thrones and that episode that just came to pass with all of you. You know, you, I just put my opinion out there. I'm like, here, this is what I like. This is what I didn't like. This is what's going on. This is what I'm curious about. This is what, you know, I hope to expect in the next episode. And that's a perfect opportunity for you guys to say, hey, I actually like this, all right? I actually didn't like that. And I'm perfectly okay with that. <laughs> It's great. It's fine. Diversity. It's awesome. So, um, that's why I review, because I want to hear from you. And, um, I like that. So, um, the trailer recently came out. Trailer number three or something like that. And, um, we didn't get, like, too much, like, to know what's going on. Like, 
specifically, but we see Daenerys the most, like her face and um, inferences her about her are probably the easiest to make out, especially if you've read the books before. If you haven't, we obviously, you know, get the basics like her dragons are growing, um, she has an army, it looks like there's going to be some um, maybe warring or um, some kind of progress with her. Uh, she's definitely going to be prominent this season. And, you know, we see a little bit of, like, drama with everyone else. And that's what Game of Thrones is. That's what I like. It's not all fun and action. A lot of the times, the good, juicy stuff happens just when people are talking um, face-to-face or stuff like that. I really, I really enjoy that. And um, I'm looking forward to Tyrion and Shay's relationship. That's one thing that the show took liberties with and did a different route with and so I'm enjoying it it keeps me interested because um, you know the book did something different and so I don't know where they're gonna go with that I don't know what's going on and um, I know a couple of big scenes are coming up um, they're definitely gonna do the scenes I mean they're great scenes from the book I don't know why the show would cut them out I highly um, anticipate these scenes and I know the show doesn't go too too off so I can't wait to see those and um, I just I have great expectations for this season um, it actually like don't get me wrong I don't not like the show um, I just have my issues with it and so it's kind of just like I'm on the fence about it and um, who knows the season might turn what I think around like I don't hate it but I don't like absolutely adore it um, but there's something about it that just keeps me watching it keeps me obsessed it's probably the fact that like I've said before it's bringing to life something that has been a part of my life for so long I mean A Song of Ice and Fire is one of the first fantasy books that I've ever read and so it has a lot of influence on my tastes and what I like and what I expect from fantasy literature it's a huge part of my life. It's a huge deal. So seeing it come to life through Game of Thrones is so amazing, so awesome. Don't get me wrong when I criticize it. It just, it happens, you know. <laughs> so, um, we'll see. So, um, yep, I definitely will be reviewing it. And now that I have access to HBO Go, I should be able to review it on time. I was a little concerned about that. I thought perhaps that I would just be all over the place with it like I was for the first season. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be on time this go around. So I look forward to that. I hope you look forward to that. If not, too bad. Okay, bye. <laughs>